Hey everybody, I'm Jay Flynn, Home for Heroes Foundation Director, and I'm here today with Chief Wisnett of the Morganton Public Safety uh, Investigator Story with Morganton Public Safety, Chris Geddes, one of our Homes for Heroes real estate uh, specialists, and we're here because of the Homes for Heroes Foundation and Homes for Heroes Circle of Giving. And guys, Chris and I are honored to present Burke Leaf, which is who, who we're helping here, the, found, uh, the nonprofit that we're helping, with a Homes for Heroes Foundation grant for $5,000. Congratulations. Yes. Awesome. All right. So let's take a minute and talk about Burke Leaf. So mm -hmm. Chief, tell us how Burke Leaf came to be and what its mission of service is. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Burke Leaf was uh, founded uh, out of a, of a need of a necessity. And so um, one of our officers uh, became disabled on a traffic stop. He suffered a stroke on duty. And you know, realizing that even though there are on duty events that may cause a person to become disabled, uh, there are certain financial gaps uh, that are not quite met by everything that an employer may support. And so Berkeley was created to help uh, bridge those gaps, those financial gaps, when our local law enforcement uh, would happen to go down and, and need some additional financial support uh, readily available immediately. And all those funds raised uh, through our organization stays directly here in Burke County and is made available to law enforcement officers within less than 24 hours. Wow, that's, that's, that's really an awesome cause for sure. Right. So Chris, you nominated Berkeley, yep. right? You reached out and said, hey, here, here's what's going on. So why did you nominate Burke Leaf? So yeah, so through uh, social media, I saw Burke Leaf had a post on Facebook about one of their officers who had a, a, a house fire and uh, really needed assistance. And so that's a, we sprung into action to make things happen for him. Awesome, awesome. So Chief, the Homes Heroes Foundation is honored to help Burke Leaf with this $5,000 grant. Mm -hmm. Chris kind of alluded to it, this grant has a real special purpose. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, and, and I hope the investigator story don't mind me discussing uh, what happened, but uh, you know, his, uh, his home burnt down just prior to Christmas, uh, uh, Christmas holiday. And, uh, and through that, uh, Cody and his family lost everything that they own. And uh, the communities rallied around and, and we put things out on social media. And, you know, we're just so blessed to have uh, organizations like Homes for Heroes just really quickly stepping up and stepping out and, and recognizing the fact that, you know, uh, we got a hero amongst us and they need support and coming into our local community here to just to make an impact such as this, this huge impact. Awesome, awesome. so investigator story, yes. or Cody, if I may. Yes. This grant, what does it mean to you and your family? Well, it, I'm almost speechless. Um, you know, just a little over two weeks ago, I'm standing outside of my house watching it burn down, not knowing what I was going to do. And it very quickly, you know, through my, through my faith in Jesus Christ and through organizations like Homes for Heroes and Burke Leaf, um, me and my family know everything's going to be okay now. That's and awesome. So it's, uh, it's really made a, a big impact in our lives and we can't, uh, we can't thank everyone enough. Well, the Homes for Heroes Foundation is honored to yep. assist and help you guys in your time of need. Chris, anything to add? No, we're just uh, so thankful for your service, and we're glad we could be here to help you and do anything we can. We're here in the future for you as well. Yeah, thank you. For very any of the officers uh, in you know the whole Catawba Valley, we're here for them. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, Chief, I know you guys don't have a, a website, but you do mm -hmm. have some social media presence on Facebook, and uh, we we will share that with the folks that are watching. That way, they can. And follow you guys and connect with you guys and you guys are such a wonderful nonprofit doing such great things and there is a PayPal link that helps support this particular cause mm -hmm. we're also going to post that link in the video too great. to see if we can't help out further um, mm -hmm. and, and help uh, Cody and his family get Absolutely. through this um, we greatly appreciate it absolutely so thank you guys for joining us today and taking a few minutes to hear about the great work that Berkeley is doing. Uh, join us next time to hear about other nonprofits across the country that we partner with to help our heroes when they're in need. Do me a favor, give us a share, give us a like, leave us a comment on the video, and then most importantly, take just a second today to stop and say thank you to the hero. 
Grants from the Homes for Heroes Foundation are made possible by the Homes for Heroes Circle of Giving and its network of real estate professionals who are committed to providing savings to hero groups such as firefighters, EMS, law enforcement, military, active and veterans, healthcare professionals, and teachers. Thank you for watching another Homes for Heroes Foundation grant video about the impact we are making in the hero community with our nonprofit partners. Don't forget to subscribe to the Homes for Heroes YouTube channel. And to learn more about the savings available to heroes through Homes for Heroes, or to learn more about how the Homes for Heroes Foundation is helping heroes in dire need, visit homesforheroes.com.